What's going on everyone? Today we're going to go deep into a complex legal dispute that is surely going to shape the technological landscape. This conflict involves Samsara Inc. and Motive Technologies. At the core of this clash are issues such as patent infringement and false advertising within the realm of fleet telematics. Now if you're like myself and don't speak tech, you might be wondering what exactly is fleet telematics? Well, in simple terms, it's about utilizing technology to monitor and manage a fleet of vehicles efficiently. Imagine it as a sophisticated GPS system, but with a broader scope, not just tracking locations, but also collecting and analyzing data about vehicles. Samsara, a significant player in this field, has thrown legal punches at Motive Technologies, alleging serious misconduct. The accusations include covertly accessing Samsara's proprietary technology, engaging in deceptive advertising practices, and even creating fake accounts to gain unauthorized access to Samsara's connected vehicle platforms. Motive, on the other hand, denied denies these claims, attributing them to Samsara's supposed struggles in keeping up with advancements in artificial technology. Why should you care about all of this? Well, the outcome of this legal battle could have far-reaching consequences, affecting industries that rely on technologies like fleet management in areas such as energy, transportation, and more. So stick around as we unpack the intricacies of this dispute. We'll also make sure to leave all of the legal jargon out of it. However, if before we get into things, you wouldn't mind subscribing to our channel and tossing a thumbs up on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. All right, let's break this down. Let's dive into the heart of the matter. The serious accusations leveled by Samsara against Motive Technologies. Picture this scenario like a movie about political espionage, but instead of secret agents, we have telematics experts. Over a four year period from 2018 to 2022, Samsara alleges that Motive Technologies, operating under the guise of Keep Truckin', embarked on a covert mission. Their operatives, in the form of Motive employees, are accused of sneakily infiltrating Samsara's secret territory. The target, Samsara's proprietary technology, Technology, a core component of their connected vehicle platforms. The allegations get even more intriguing. Samsara claims that Motive's actions weren't confined to mere observation, they allegedly engaged in false advertising as well. Now let's talk about the creation of fictitious accounts, a seriously shady move if true. Samsara alleges that Motive went to great lengths using deceptive measures to establish unauthorized access points to Samsara's connected vehicle platforms. It's not just about a breach of digital boundaries, it's a deliberate attempt to gain an unfair advantage. In this legal chess game, Samsara isn't just accusing Motive of copying their technologies, they're alleging a comprehensive campaign that spans over years. The scope is vast, encompassing everything from patented technologies to the very mission statement that defines Samsara's existence. As we unravel this intricate legal drama, keep in mind the potential repercussions for industries relying on these technologies. From energy to transportation, the outcome could reshape how companies approach fleet management. Now that we've explored Samsara's side of the story, let's shift our focus to Motive's response. In the aftermath of Samsara's accusations, Motive's CEO stepped into the spotlight. His response? A straightforward dismissal of the allegations as lacking merit. According to Makani, this legal showdown is not a battle of ethics, but a consequence of Samsara's struggle to remain relevant in the swiftly evolving AI technology landscape. It's a classic counter move, attributing the legal ordeal to a competitive landscape where survival of the fittest prevails. Makani suggests that Samsara's legal maneuver is, in essence, an attempt to stifle competition rather than a genuine concern over alleged misdeeds. This isn't just a defense, it's a strategic positioning framing the narrative to suggest that Samsara's legal actions are fueled by a fear of losing ground in the industry. In Makani's words, the allegations are not a reflection of Motive's actions, but rather a testament to Samsara's purported inability to develop competitive AI technology. It's a bold statement, throwing accusations back at Samsara and challenging the foundation of their legal pursuit. What's noteworthy is that Makani doesn't just deny the allegations, he goes a step further. He accuses Samsara of not just competing, but losing customers, especially large enterprise accounts, to Motive. This adds a layer of corporate rivalry to the mix, suggesting that this legal battle isn't just about principles, it's about market share and dominance in the industry. 
As this legal chess game plays out, we find ourselves at a crossroads. On one side, Samsara paints a picture of covert operations and intellectual property theft. On the other hand, Motive presents itself as the innovative underdog facing legal challenges fueled by the fear of competition. Now, let's get into the intricacies of the legal arguments and the potential implications for the tech industry at large. As we navigate through the layers of this legal drama between Samsara and Motive, it's essential to dissect the potential fallout, not just for the companies involved, but for the broader landscape of fleet telematics and the industries that depend on it. Imagine fleet telematics as the silent conductor orchestrating logistics, transportation, and operational efficiency. Now, insert the discord of a legal battle between industry giants and the ripple effect can be felt across sectors. Samsara and Motive, both key players in the fleet telematics arena, stand at the forefront of technology that goes beyond mere GPS tracking. Their innovations are the backbone for industries ranging from energy and food to construction and transportation. So what happens when these technological giants clash in the courtroom? Firstly, the legal battle itself becomes a disruptor. As these two companies navigate the legal landscape, uncertainty looms over the future of their technological advancements. Innovations, pending projects, and research and development efforts may all witness a slowdown as resources get diverted towards legal proceedings. Beyond the courtroom, there's the ripple effect on the industries relying on these technologies. Picture a construction site where operational efficiency is finely tuned through telematics or a transportation network optimizing routes for timely deliveries. The impact extends to energy sectors, streamlining operations, and even the food industry, ensuring the freshness of perishable goods during transit. The legal outcome could potentially redefine the rules of engagement within the fleet telematics sector. Will it favor Samsara securing its technological territory, or will Motive emerge unscathed, continuing its trajectory of innovation? The answer holds consequences not only for the companies, but for the multitude of businesses relying on their technologies. Customers, especially in energy, food, construction, and transportation sectors, may find themselves caught in the crossfire. Will there be disruptions in service, shifts in technological support, or alterations in contractual agreements? These are the questions that will only be answered as the legal battle unfolds. In the tech industry, where advancements are rapid and competition fierce, such legal battles can either foster innovation or stifle progress. This isn't just a courtroom skirmish. It's a conflict that could reshape the very fabric of technology in fleet management. In essence, what we have here is a high-stakes chess game where Samsara accuses Motive of covert operations, intellectual property theft, and deceptive practices. Motive, in turn, counters with claims of Samsara's fear of competition in the dynamic realm of AI technology, but only time will tell who is telling the more accurate story. However, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Who do you think is likely to come out on top? Do you have any experience dealing with telematics? Are you worried this legal battle will interfere with your operations? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we'll catch you next time.